my name is Iris Fons, and today we're going to talk about gross domestic product, also known as GDP. By definition in your textbook, GDP is the dollar value of all final goods and services produced in a country, typically within a year. So the idea is this, we want to know how much goods and services this country has produced within this year. And therefore, we only count new things. And uh, that means we're not going to calculate secondhand sales. So for example, if you purchase something in the garage sale, then that's nothing new. And therefore, we're not going to count it. Why not? Because before this garage sale, this item was new before and it was counted before. And therefore, when it's being sold again at garage sale, it's not something new you produce within this year. And therefore, we're not going to count it. Also, we only count final goods and services. We're not going to count intermediate goods. The idea is that we're trying to avoid double counting. So for example, if you're buying some chocolate mousse, say $3, and the chocolate mousse includes the value of the ingredients, say the value of sugar, eggs, chocolate, and whipped cream, and also the labor that you use to produce the chocolate mousse. So when we count chocolate mousse, we're not also going to count sugar, eggs, and chocolate, and whipped cream. Otherwise, we will be counting, double counting these ingredients because we know that chocolate mousse value includes the value of sugar, eggs, all these ingredients. So we're going to avoid all intermediate goods to avoid double counting. And the components of GDP is consumption plus investment plus government spending plus export minus imports. So export minus imports, we can also call that net exports. And I seldom ask my students to memorize anything, but this one is an exception because the definition of GDP is very important. It's a common sense, especially for econ and business majors. And therefore, you really need to know what GDP means. In the following video, I'm going to talk about the definition of consumption, investment, government spending, and net export. But for now, thanks for watching and good luck with your studying.